Welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm working here on the Tonka truck and Leviathan, my roommate's truck. Uh, there's the project truck right there in the green. This is kind of an in-between video. Um, so we got this rebuilt, but we're still changing out a lot of the parts. Um, we've got a new valve cover coming in, which will actually allow for clearance of the, uh, the Harlan Sharps. Um, we do have an HEI distributor coming in too, to replace the TFI. Uh, this will be getting a Mega Squirt 3 and will be running boost. And the way I'll be doing this is rather than having this entire plenum and contraption and everything, I'm going to mill this all out. Um, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to turn this into a water to air intercooler. Air to water, whatever, however you call it. Um, I'm going to take advantage of the freeze plugs as well on both sides. Delete the EGR and all that and I'll put in a 460 or something throttle body, something much, much bigger. That way it can handle the boost. Um, so I'm going to use two small turbos, probably EcoBoost uh, 3.5 turbos or two of the 2.3 liter turbos, which are the surprisingly the 2.3 liter turbo is bigger. These two of those. And that'll go great with this. Keep uh, torque and RPMs nice and happy down low without being too rich. I'll run larger, you know, 30 pound, whatever, something, something much larger. This is the overall truck. It's dual drive. You know, nothing fancy. Um, it's got 410 gearing. It's got the venerable T18 manual transmission. You know, and it's got the dualies coming in soon. I got, I uh, had a blowout a little while ago. And the guy that showed up actually had a DRW axle. So I'll be switching that out. It's actually the same 410, but it's a limited slip. And it'll go right in. Um, I'll just clip this up a little bit more and I'll extend it out a little bit, make it look right. This is Project Leviathan. This is the 83 F-150. Um, we had to put in a grill because our neighbor was having issues. Uh, the last one got cracked because uh, something hit it. Same motor, 306, but with a baby little bitty uh, feedback carburetor. So it's simple, works. Now the emissions work. Um, it's also running again the same four speed with the granny low. It's all original. Um, I'm gonna rattle can this. I found a color I like, which is Chrysler Red. It, it pops out nicely. I'm gonna run that across the entire trim. I'm going to get this removed completely and I'm gonna put in something that nicely fits probably modify one of those ford automatic door openers where you know you open the door and it drops the step out for you probably modify that there's project 23's old motor um i definitely have a lot of projects going on my hand but ooh, these all run great i'm still waiting for the seals to dry up on the Tonka truck right there, so I'll give you guys a little rev right now. Um, we just got the Ranger up in the driveway, so I'm exhausted from that. Yeah. Parking brake would be nice. So the feedback carb has been played around with a bit, but She's cold. Um, none of the emissions work. She's got resistors where the emissions junk goes. You can see some of the stuff that goes to the emissions is kind of missing. I'll uh, set the phone down for you guys to hear a good little rev.
but those are the projects for today. Um, this guy's got three inch all the way down and then he goes up to a cut up pipe piece right here where he goes to the stock manifold. I think it's like two inch or something like that. And then it's got that expander. Um, it's only running two inch for like a foot and a half, three feet, somewhere around there. And then around, somewhere around here in the door panel, it goes up to three and a quarter. And it's glass back all the way down. This guy, I'm gonna be taking dual pipes, clipping them off at the first cat, deleting everything back. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna merge them together and just run a single out under the truck. Or I'll run from the sides like stacks. Um, likely, if I run stacks, I'm probably just gonna run two uh, three inchers, come up the side right here like a semi, and then just have a cover on it in a way that it doesn't interfere but looks decent. And, uh, Gotta love friends. They love to screw around with my stuff, so that's wonderful. Um, so I rattle canned uh, white. It came out pretty nice. This is uh, just one layer, and this is the old factory paint, the factory white. You can see the difference. Um, the best difference is on the clean side, the driver's side. Um, you can really see how nice it is on this side though, but yeah, I got to redo the whole thing. So, all right, well, I'll catch you all later. Have fun. Have a good weekend. I'll get back to you guys on that Ranger update once I start putting that turbo and everything inside the Ranger. All right. Bye guys.